Louisiana Beer Reviews, Abita Satsuma Harvest Wit. Don't know when this was introduced. They don't say on the website, but I do know that it's a malt beverage. It says brewed with fruit and spices. 5.2% alcohol. I bought this at Martin Martin's Wine Cellar in Metairie, Louisiana. They say that the IBUs are 17, so it's not going to be too bitter. They use Pilsner, barley malt, wheat malt, and oats. Satsumas, coriander, and orange peel are added. It's an okay score on Beer Advocate, which would be like a C. Only a 43 out of 100 on Rape Beer, 48 out of 100 for the style, but a most excellent score on the Beer and Me. I've never had it. But, uh, so, well, let me try it out. Do a bunch of these flavored beers for a little while. Okay. A lot of smoke. Ooh, that's all we need for it to drip everywhere. But that's what it's doing. I have to clean that up. Okay. Dang it. Hmm. Good thing about this beer, it's got the Best Buy date right on the on the beer. It says Best Buy December 29th, 2013. And it wasn't even hard for him to put that on there. Okay, Greg's Beer Reviews, always saying that. Put the date, put the date. And who can argue with him? Okay, uh, thick. I say just a white head, not really off white, just white. And the appearance is. Well, kind of yellow, yellowish gold, hazy with some little particles floating about and some streaming bubbles, not an enormous amount, but some. And from that direction, it's gold looking with the sun, the sunlight coming at you that way. It's more of a yellow gold and you can certainly see a cloud. Now there was a little sediment down there. Let's see if it clouds it up more. Yeah, it did a little bit. Yeah, definitely. There's a little gray cloud, gold gray cloud descending for sure. For sure. Let's go with the aroma, shall we? Yeah, you pick up that coriander right off the bat. You get yeast, spice, the coriander. I wouldn't say orange peel, and then you get white wheat bread. Yeah. It's not that unusual of an aroma, really, if you've had these kind of beers before. Let's go with the flavor. That head is really becoming spongy. This beer was not expensive. Matter of fact, I have the receipt down there. If I need it, it was like $1.39. Well, um, white wheat bread, a little bit of coriander, a little bit of hop bite, maybe a, a shade of orange peel, satsuma, um, yeah, that's there. It's there. It's not. It's subdued. That's the word. It's subdued. The mouthfeel is medium, soft, a little slick. Um, the finish is semi dry. It's easy going. It's drinkable and it's refreshing here almost 10 o'clock in the morning. I mean, this is a very mellow beer, malt beverage, whatever you want to call it. Um, a little hot bitterness is coming in more at the end. It's okay. Uh, it's not super bold, but it is flavorful. I can't lie and say it's not flavorful. It tastes like nothing. It does have flavor, and, and the flavors are pleasant. If you like flavored beers, wheat-oriented flavored beers, you might like this. Um, especially if you're into like the real subdued, mellow, easy listening adult contemporary 
type beers. And I think this is a winner for that style. And as it warms, some more of those little spicy flavors, even a little banana from the yeast is coming in. A little. So I'll give it an A- minus for flavored beers, and I'll give it a B plus for beer overall. It's really not bad. It's I had the uh, Son of a Peach, and now I'm having this, and they're okay. Uh, it's not the kind of thing I would ever really buy, of course. And I'm not saying that in a flip way. I just don't. That's, I, there's just other things I would prefer drinking. But, to be fair, it is good. And if you like flavored beer, this is a winner. So, Les Les Bon Temps Roulé. This is a very good beer. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to New Orleans.